Imperial Brands. I'd love to look at this, Paul. Can you pull up Imperial Brands on uh, on? Um... I don't think I can. Give me a ticker. What's Imperial? Um, give me a ticker. Sorry, give us a second, guys. Imperial Brands. Is oh, here we go. I M B B Y. Yep. They're a formerly Imperial Tobacco. It's a British multinational tobacco company headquartered. In the, I think that the, the the interest is is the stock price has plummeted from from years beforehand. Oh and wow! So, yeah. It was at fifty five dollars. Now it's at twenty. Yeah, Paul. Let's take a look. Let, by the way, look at this, guys. Fifty five to twenty. When you tell me at fifty five dollars, if you'd seen this chart, and I'd said to you, "Oh yeah, I'm going to pay twenty five dollars." That's not going to go to twenty five. When was the last time it was at twenty five? It was years ago. Blah 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 blah. blah. It happens, guys. No stock in history is ever going to be always a top expensive high PE stock. Find me one that over 30, 40, 50 years is high, even over 20 years. There's Juan, always a correction at some point. Juan is saying this is the best uh, tobacco stock in his opinion. It might be. Let's get after it. What is the market cap for Imperial Brands? 18.6 billion with a 9.7 PE. Check mark there. Not a good profit margin though, guys. About 2 billion on 42 billion. So it is about 4.5%. So that's an X on the profit margin. I'm surprised by that because the other tobacco companies had like 50, 60% gross margin and 20% profit. This one is 20% gross margin. So that's kind of weird. Um, that's something I would want to look at as to why their gross margin is so much lower. Um, uh, dividend yeah, go of ahead, 9%. Bob. Wow, that's just incredible. Which is $1.8 billion yeah, they pay yeah. per year in dividends. 9%, incredible. Uh, right in the chat, if you're in London right now, I think we have a tons of UK patrons. Is that right, Don? Just tons of them, I think, right? Yeah, there, there's a lot overseas. We love you guys. We love you, we love you, we love you. Okay, revenue growth is pillar number three, Paul. Let's look at it. Revenue growth for Imperial Brands. 39.4 to 41.5. Check mark again, guys. Not fast growing. This is what I love about look at the financials. Everybody tells you something's a fast growing company. You literally have seen 2 billion, 5% 5, 5 over four years. That's like 1.2% a year. I mean, that's nothing, guys. It's absolutely nothing. So keep that in mind. It's still a check, but it's not a big check. Profit growth is pillar number four, Paul. Profit growth. Look at this. 900 million to 1.9 billion. Check mark there. Yep. So they uh, doubled their profit in the last uh, five years, four years, whatever it's called. Ryan, I got you. I got you next year, brother. Okay, profit growth is good. Shares outstanding. We went to shares outstanding. Want these going down as pillar number five. 954 down to 944. So check mark there. Nice. Check, yeah. please. Okay, current assets over current liabilities, Paul. All right, so current assets, cash on hand, essentially, $12.4 billion. Current liabilities, 15.85. That's an X right there. Uh-oh, they're underneath. Let's see how they looked in the past. Let's see if that's consistent. That is pretty consistent in the past. All right, free cash flow, guys. The big mamma jamma. Pillar number seven. And, and just like the other tobacco companies, very low capital expenditures. So, 4.1 to 5. Yeah! So, check mark there. 3.5, 4.1, and 4.1. Okay, the average free cash flow over the past five years is 4.1. I was going to say, it's pretty close to 4.1. Mm -hmm. Times, not a fast-growing company, very low margin, 15 uh -oh, to 60 Paul. billion. Paul, 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 60 billion. Their current market cap is 19.8, 8. 19 billion dollars. So they're, at, they're, they're selling for five times free cash flow. That is a massive check mark. Wow. Your thought. L listen to the gears turn out there. The, the silence is killing me. What do you think, Paul? Yeah, this is interesting. Why is it selling for five times free cash flow? I mean, that margin, I don't know why their margin sucks compared to the other guys. Why is that? How why old, is that? How old are they? What are you guys thinking out there? Um, if you're a fan of this, Juan, you love this. Let's go back. Um, Juan, why are you in love with, what, what are we missing, guys? It's very rare that we get a desired oh, market cigars. cap. It's a desired market cap that's uh, three times higher than the actual one. And cigarettes, 244 Everything. billion cigarettes sold in more than 160 countries. Let's get momentum's thoughts here, Tra uh, Trader Mo. What do you think? So this thing obviously is falling, and I think that's why people are talking about it. So our stochastic, we it is a major downtrend right now, and we can see that this lime green line right here that I'm drawing on top of that is the 50-day moving average. So last week fell below that. This week it fell even more, and it's going right towards this 100-day moving average and 200. So there's a lot of downward momentum. Look at this giant selling bar today. The, this red bar right here is how many, what the volume is for the day. 
and that means that there's more uh, sellers than buyers. So if we keep getting these candlesticks that just keep moving down like this and it breaks through the 100 and 200 day moving average, this thing could go a lot lower, maybe to this region right here, which is, oh, $16 a share. So we're looking at Imperial Brands, folks, um, a tobacco company. Paul, we let's not forget that 9% dividend. That's one of the highest I think we've seen on the show. And they have ample money to pay that dividend. They, they made $5 billion in free cash flow, and they only pay one point, what of it, every year to, to dividends. By the way, this is an over-the-counter stock, OTC. What does that it's mean? Not in the, it's not in the S&P or anything. It's because it's, um, it's a foreign company. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's a five-ticker foreign company. Yep. All right, guys. Paul, Paul, what do you think, baby? I mean, four times free cash flow, not even. It's like three and a half times free cash flow. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Even at their high peak of fifty to five dollars a share, they were only. Oh, what are you looking at? Nick Lam Nick Lamore just said that they're Davidoff and Monte Cristo. Those yeah. are I didn't know that that was. Is there a bus margin in cigar? Because their margin Mike, is garbage. I don't know. I would have to ask Mikey. Their margin is garbage. Hmm. Look at their gross margin. Their gross profit. Yeah, their gross profit is. Horrible. I mean, the best it's ever been is like 20%, if not, mm. not even that. Yeah, tw not even 20%. Right here. They hit 20% in 2015 for gross. Like, that's so weird to me. Why is that? I think that just from who I've talked to, I think that there are low, mar low margins on cigars. Yeah, but they sold 260 billion cigarettes as well. Well, I don't know. Uh, if Patrons, if you're excited by this, maybe we'll do a Patreon-only... Uh, Video deep dive on this, Paul. Now, here's the reason I will not have this for my portfolio. Go on. I want to sell covered calls. I cannot sell covered calls here. I'd have, I'm sure there's a way for me to do it for European companies, but I cannot sell covered calls here. And a covered calls are going to add a lot of return to my portfolio. So, my, me personally, I'm not going to buy this, but I'm just really interested as to why the free cash flow multiple is so good.